Hi everyone and welcome to another lesson of Math Literacy with myself, Mr. H. Now today we're talking about something that you use every single day but you probably don't even realize it and that is rate. Now before we get into numbers, let me ask you something. Have you ever tried to drink a very hot cup of hot chocolate super fast? Ouch! Not a good idea. And that's because rate matters. But in today's video, let's find out exactly what this is. At its core, rate is simply a way of comparing two things that have been measured in different units. For example, speed compares time and distance, like kilometers per hour. If I say I'm walking at five kilometers per hour, that is a rate. The key thing is that rates always have different units. So let's look at three examples ranging from easy to a possible exam question. So let's start with something simple. Imagine I'm drinking a juice box and I'm just going to put up here juice box, right? Suppose it has 250 milliliters of juice, okay? And I managed to finish, finish this within the space of five minutes. So it takes me five minutes to do that. The question is, what is my drinking rate? So we first need to identify our quantities. Now we have the amount of juice. And what is that? That is 250 mils. We also have our time. And our time is five minutes. Now what we need to do is bring rate into the equation. And what's going to happen now is we're going to divide the two. So I'm going to take my 250 milliliters and I'm going to divide that by the time. Okay. And what's it going to give me? That's going to give me an answer of 50 milliliters per minute. In our second example, let's level it up a little bit. Let's say that I have a toy car. And this toy car travels 180 kilometers for three hours. Okay. And they want to know what is the speed at which it is traveling. Okay. So again, we're going to use the same method. Let's identify the quantities. What do we have? We've got distance. What is the distance? 180 kilometers. What, is, what else do I have? I've got time. How much time? Three hours. What am I going to do? I'm going to bring in my rate and I'm going to divide the one into the other and I'm going to say 180 kilometers divided by three hours. And what is that going to give me? That's going to give me 60 kilometers per hour. Boom! The car speed is 60 kilometers per hour. That means if it keeps this space, it will cover 60 kilometers every hour. And then for our last example, we have the factory. And a factory produces 1,200 bottles of juice every four hours. Okay, now they then word the question like this. What is the production rate? Let's write that down. What is the production rate um, in bottles per hour? Now, do we get scared with the wording? No, we don't. Why? Because we follow the exact same steps. The first one is identifying the quantities. So we have the total bottles that are produced, which is 1,200. We also have the time in which that is done, and that is four hours. So what are we going to do? Same thing we've done every time. Take our rate, take our 1,200 bottles, divide that by our time, and we end up with three hundred bottles per 
hour. So there we have our answer. We were asked what's the production rate in bottles per hour. It is 300 bottles per hour. Now that we know that it's 300 bottles per hour, what if they speed this up? So I want to challenge you in the comments below. Let me know how many bottles they are actually going to produce in a period of 10 hours. Let me know in the comments below. So remember, the rate is just a fancy way of saying how much of something happens in a certain amount of something else. So here's our challenge for today. What's the rate at which you brush your teeth? Count the strokes per minute and let me know in the comments below. So now there's two challenges in this one video. I'll be waiting in the comments. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share this with others. I'll see you in our next video.